of the things I love about the Blue Ridge Mountains is the music. Love going down to Floyd or to Galax and checking out some of the great bluegrass music. No matter what it is, and there's some great gospel songs as well. And one of the things I've noticed about the bluegrass gospel songs is that a lot of them really have to do with getting out of this world and going to find our home in heaven. There's a lot of hope there. Some great songs, but sometimes songs like that, and a little bit rightly so, may be criticized as being a little bit escapist. It almost sounds like, well, there's nothing to do in this world except somewhat bide our time until we can finally get out of here and get to our real home up in heaven. The flip side of that, though, is that many of these songs come out of very difficult life experience. People had a hard time holding on. There wasn't much to hold on to. There wasn't a lot of hope from sunrise to sunset. And the idea that there was something more gave them hope. In addition, sometimes the songs have a double meaning. You especially see that in some of the some of the songs from slave days where they talked about that chariot coming to take them home. That was indeed hope beyond this life. But years later we find out that chariot was also um, the opportunity to, to leave slavery behind and be delivered, perhaps through the Underground Railroad. So sometimes these songs have a double meaning. I bring that all up because this weekend, Mother's Day, we're going to be thinking together about another chapter out of 1 Corinthians. If you want to read it, it's 1 Corinthians 15. And very basically, it's focused on what is our hope for life beyond this life. People had gotten to the point, it looks like, where they understood that Jesus had risen from the dead. But it was blowing their minds that this had anything to do with their own hope, that there might be hope for them beyond death. There was a prevailing mindset in Greece, and remember Corinth, the Corinthians, that was located in Greece, that really did not think in those terms at all. So they really could not comprehend it. It's a great chapter, and you need to pray for me because we could probably come up with 20, 30, or 40 great questions to be answered. In fact, I think this is what we'll do. If you have a question about... Um, life after death, the resurrection of the body. You can either post it as a comment on this YouTube or you can write it on the yellow card Sunday morning. And on the Afterthoughts video, I'll try to deal with some of the questions that we really don't have time for this Sunday. All that's to say, we are going to sing, sing some bang up bluegrass gospel music this Sunday. Four great bluegrass songs in addition to our other songs that talk about our hope beyond this life. We're just going to really get into it. And then we'll think together about 1 Corinthians 15 on what our real hope is whenever we say, I believe in the resurrection of the body. What on earth does that mean? That's not just Jesus' resurrection. That's our resurrection. So we'll, we'll jump into that this day. You know, Mother's Day is a day where we always think about memories. Um, my mom passed away not too long ago. Got two grandmothers that were very special to me who were, who were long gone. So there are a lot of memories. So, so it's a happy time, certainly a great day of celebration. So a, a little bit bittersweet sometimes as we think about um, those separations. Those songs really give us hope. They remind us that, that um, we'll be um, all together one day in God's hands. One of those songs is that song, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? By and by, Lord, by and by. Um, join us on Sunday as we sing some of those great songs and so we think about what our hope is in the resurrection of the body. And then um, check back with me next week for the Afterthoughts video and we'll get into it even a little deeper than we have the opportunity to do this Sunday. God bless and take care.